Hello and welcome back to the second episode of Beyond the Galaxy where we provide the community a bi-weekly development update on all aspects of Black Eye Galaxy. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date on all Black Eye Galaxy news. We are also active on Twitter and Instagram and if you want to get in contact with the team or community, you can join our Discord server and Telegram group chat. All links for these platforms will be provided in the description below. Before we begin, let's discuss some recent announcements we have for the community. We are happy to announce that Autoshark have partnered with us once again for a Finn Star Alliance that will consist of six star systems. This alliance and partnership comes with a Finn Star Alliance membership card, which works similarly to other membership cards in how there will be a limited number available. 300 Finn Star Alliance membership cards will be available. Autoshock have also decided to upgrade their current 3 star system Jaws Alliance in Black Eye Galaxy to a 6 star system and will also add a further 150 Jaws Alliance membership cards. Along with this upgrade, all Jaws Alliance membership card holders will receive an Autoshock NFT airdrop. Also, 5 lucky winners who hold a Jaws Alliance membership card will also receive a Series 1 Snide Shark NFT. We are also currently working on a partnership with Rogue Zombie, who will be purchasing a 3 star system Alliance in Black Eye Galaxy, which will come with 150 Alliance membership cards. More information will be provided soon concerning this announcement. Moving on to the next announcement, you will have noticed recently that we have partnered with Babylons to host some planet auctions. Due to a deal between Black Eye Galaxy and Babylons, individuals that have the Black Eye Galaxy token can participate in planet auctions. The first planet auction was held on Friday the 12th of November, with more to come. A link will be provided in the description below for the Babylons BYG planet auction in case you are interested in participating or just checking it out. The next announcement is concerned with partnerships and listing options. Apart from the new Autoshark Fin Star Alliance that we just announced, we are looking at partnering with more than 7 different projects to add more alliances to Black Eye Galaxy. We are also exploring listing options for Black Eye Galaxy including CEX and KuCoin. We have also taken the feedback from the community on this matter. We will announce more information later concerning who we are planning to list with. Currently we cannot guarantee who we will be listing with. The team are also looking to participate in more AMAs and demos in the future. We are telling the community this in case you know of any large communities or metaverse organizations that may be interested in working with us. Please let us know of any contact information in our Discord server in the suggestions channel or contact our team via Telegram if you have any information on this you'd like to share. Lastly, we would also like to share our vision and an opportunity for players to support our road to $1. If you want to participate in this, then you can start by increasing your staked BYG in the reputation system. Once BYG reaches $1 with two NDA candles on $1, all players that staked BYG into the reputation and power system will receive a share of a 1 million BYG staking pool on a weighted average. When players are rewarded for their BYG shares for participating in the 1 million BYG pool, players will have two options. One, unstake the rewarded amount immediately and pay a 30% unstaking fee, or two, pay a 1% unstaking fee after 29 days of holding the rewarded amount. The team wanted to release our Road to $1 for Black Eye Galaxy to show the community how excited we are for this journey and how rewarding it will be for players that choose to participate and support the game in the future. We can achieve this goal with the support of the community and the new gameplay features coming out, including the 3D PvP racing gameplay, the salvage ship coming soon, and three more newly hired devs to boost game development. Now let's move on to gameplay updates. We would like to inform the community on some important changes happening soon to the asteroid mining logic. Currently we use the asteroid mining logic that is seen on the screen now, that hopefully you are already familiar with. Currently, for common asteroids, their average reward is 600 BYG and average mining time is 20 days. With the new asteroid mining logic that will be implemented soon into the game, common asteroids will give players 120 BYG with an average mining time of 4 days. Essentially, this new logic reduces the amount of time to mine and amount of BYG reward to increase the amount of interaction players have with the Asteroid Hunter. Currently, there is no ETA on this new Asteroid Mining logic, however, we expect this update to be implemented quickly once the team are ready. This new logic system also follows the decision to remove daily claims and instead allow players to claim the mining rewards at the end of the mining operation or cycle. The new mining time average is now 4 days, so it's not much longer for players to wait to claim their mining rewards. This change has been introduced to support the project by stabilizing its liquidity. 
This will essentially boost more liquidity for the project and ensure that BYG can weather dumps by whales and therefore help ensure the continued upward trend of the BYG token which all BYG supporters want. Also, you will notice more asteroid types being introduced which emphasises the potential to earn more BYG in less time compared to the old mining logic. With the new mining logic there are 5 types of asteroids. These are common, uncommon, rare, epic and legendary. These types of asteroids have different probabilities of spawning across the galaxy. If you find a legendary asteroid, for example, you can make an average of 400 BYG in only an average of 4.5 days of mining. In the old mining logic, there were many different types of common asteroids that confused players when discovering asteroids. In this new mining logic, because there are more types of asteroids, we have organised the different types of asteroids into levels. For example, the grey and brown asteroids will be referred to as common asteroids. The asteroids that slightly glow a light blue and yellow are uncommon. The black and dark blue asteroids are rare. The black and orange asteroids are epic. And the green asteroids are now legendary. So, in short, this new mining system is more logical. It should improve asteroid mining gameplay significantly for players, making it more enjoyable while remaining just as rewarding, if not more rewarding, than the previous mining logic. In the last episode of Beyond the Galaxy, we showcased a little bit of 3D racing gameplay that was in the very early stages of development. Since then, we've been working on racing ship models in the gameplay. As you may have noticed, if you followed our social media accounts, we released pictures of four of the five racing ships that we're implementing into the first stages of our racing gameplay, scheduled for quarter one of 2022. We wanted to engage the community more into the development of the game, which is why we organised the community to come up with some names for the ships. The contest ended on the 6th of November and we had a massive community response with an overwhelming number of ship names provided to us on Twitter. We wanted to thank everyone that participated and we hope that you'll join us again in a very similar contest in the future. In terms of the gameplay, we are starting to implement the ship models into the game and we have a small sneak peek to show you. The following sneak peek will feature the latest racing ship known as the Cobra, the fifth ship which has been implemented into some gameplay for the community. We would like to reiterate that this is still very early gameplay and subject to change, nevertheless we hope you enjoy. Moving on, we wanted to give the community a bit more information on the salvage ship that has a two week ETA of being introduced into the game. We would like to show you guys a little bit of video footage of the salvaging ship in action. We hope you enjoy.
We hope that you enjoyed the short video. We'll also be releasing another teaser trailer for the salvage ship very close to its release date. We did want to let the community know about the cost and APR potential of this ship so that the community can start planning the future of their assets. The cost of the salvage ship will be $50 for players on the marketplace, which gives you a level 1 status. After this, you can upgrade it all the way up to level 5, which increases its APR. Each level added to the salvage ship up to level 5 costs $50, so if you wanted a level 5 salvage ship, this would cost you a total of $250. Finally, the APR after gas fees for a level 1 salvage ship starts at 365%, with level 5 pushing 582%. When players purchase the salvaging team, they will receive one Argonaut, which is the large ship that stores the salvage, and one Space Ant, which collects the salvage. The upgradable levels gives players increased mining power and mining speed, which essentially increases the APR per level. Lastly, in preparation for the release of the salvage ship, we will be releasing the salvaging depot building within the next week commencing the 15th of November for planet owners to have a chance to build for the release of the salvage ship. Moving on, the reputation system remains in development. What we have is not ready to be shown to the community, however we are currently working on changing the amount of BYG needed to gain the levels in the reputation system. Currently, the level 1 entry is 5000 BYG and from there the number significantly increases, making it difficult for players to get into the reputation system in the current market where the price of BYG is quite high. The plan is to reduce the cost of entry into this system while making it very beneficial for players to stake into the reputation system. We thank you for your patience on the development of this. The system is very important for the gameplay and for the game economy, so it has to be perfect for release. The reputation system will be oracle based and will be made more available for lower level entry players. We are also developing a sophisticated skill tree for players within the power system. These powers may contribute to fleet management, planet management, and in the in-game economy. Now let's move on to an update from the graphics and web design team. Last week we showed you the early stages of a wireframe for the design of the website. We are happy to show you some progress on this end. The web design team are busy working on the miscellaneous elements for the website and designing the web UI. The new homepage for the Black Eye Galaxy website will have a cleaner and modern feel. New and existing players should be able to navigate through the new homepage with much more ease than before. The homepage will feature several different sections, including an overview of the game, how to play or get started, it will feature any Black Eye Galaxy news, it will feature Discord integration due to Discord's ability to be embedded into HTML, and finally, the tokenomics will be examined at the bottom of the page. We are also exploring ways of integrating a way for players to be able to buy the BYG token on the website. We are looking at adding a swap function from Autoshark, and later, possibly by December, you'll be able to purchase BYG by card. However, this is subject to change, but nevertheless something we are planning to implement very soon. You will also notice at the top of the homepage, the UI is much cleaner and organised. This design is subject to change, but currently the team are very happy with the progress that has been made so far. The graphics team are also working on polishing some new reputation level ranks. These are a work in progress, but we wanted to show you guys the progress that has been made on them so far. These ranks are for all the different levels from 1 to level 15 in the reputation and power system. We are also working on designing some rarity badges for asteroids so that newer players have a better chance at finding out how rare or common a certain asteroid is without confusion. Now let's move on to an update from the web development team. The web development team have been busy implementing more simple UI changes to the web app game which will improve the player experience on the website significantly. First, we have changed the spaceship panel on the asset page to make it more comfortable for players on all devices. We have also implemented a system that clusters spaceships according to their tasks. For example, in the in-flight tab, you will now see green text that means that the ship has arrived at its target. The yellow text means that a ship is almost arriving at its target. And finally, the white colored text means that the ship will take more than 30 minutes to arrive at its target. In the mining asteroids tab, you will also see the colored text. The green text means that all resources have been mined. The yellow text means that the number of resources left to mine is less than 10%. And finally, the white text means that the resources left to mine is more than 10%. This system makes it easier for captains to manage their ships more quickly and effectively. Finally, the coloured system is also used under the repair tab. In this context, green coloured text means that the damage of the ship is at 0%. 
yellow text means that the damage to the ship is less than 70%, and finally the red coloured text means that the damage to the ship is more than 70%. In addition, you will now see the reward and resource amounts for ships mining asteroids underneath the name of the asteroid hunter. For ships being leased such as the Hermes Cargo, the coloured system takes the model of the in-flight coloured system. In other news, the web development team have also moved the Asteroid Radar button underneath the Start of Flight button for more convenience for players. This was also moved due to how some newer players have been mistakenly using the Start of Flight button in an attempt to travel to asteroids. These are some of the smaller UI improvements that have been made so far. The team continuously work alongside the community to take any and all feedback and feed it into improving the game. We ask the community to continue to do so. Moving on to an update from the creative team. The creative team are working closely with an illustrative studio to design the Irisian race for Black Eye Galaxy. They have so far delivered some amazing illustrations that we would love to share with you today. The creative team are looking forward to a wide variety of designs for the Irisian race, as we'd like to shape this more into the evolving lore within Black Eye Galaxy. The creative team are continuing work polishing new descriptions for planet and ships that will bring some depth and lore into the game. Lastly, the creative team are also working on lore connected to the Irisian storyline. We would love to release some smaller stories on our socials, so please let us know in the comments if this is something that you'd like to see. Now let's move on to an update from the economic team. The economic team are busy working on some small changes to how often you will interact with the Asteroid Hunter mining ship. The vision for the Asteroid Hunters will be to ensure that there's always a great APR available for investors. However, staking in the reputation and power system or increasing your reputation level will give you a competitive edge when hunting for rarer asteroids through unlocked powers. The goal here is to create a play to earn game that guarantees a very competitive minimum APR percentage but will also incentivize players who have dedicated their funds to the reputation system in order to gain a slight edge through the in-game powers available. The economic team have also spent a week ensuring that salvagers will complement the current BYG economy and offer players the freedom to earn how they want. The salvaging ship will be the first oracle based ship to be implemented into Black Eye Galaxy. So what exactly is the Oracle model? Oracle is a service that enables a smart contract to receive off-chain data, such as weather forecasts, or any token exchange rates, including your own token. The Oracle service provides our game with the knowledge of the exchange rate so we can create transactions based on the US dollar value. First, the Oracle model in Black Eye Galaxy will be based on the CoinGecko price of BYG to USDT. The Oracle-based model is a safer model for players to invest in for the salvaging ship. The salvaging ship has a specified USDT value, this is $50 for the level 1 salvage ship. This means that when the BYG tokens become more expensive to purchase, the Oracle system will change the BYG price so that it is equivalent to the USDT value of $50. What this means is that regardless of the market conditions, the price will remain the same for the player, hence being a safer option. This model also applies to the different types of salvage which can be collected. Salvage will also have a USDT value, which means that when you sell it at a salvaging depot, you will always get the same price regardless of the BYG market value. The Oracle system gives players the ability to diversify their investments and choose to play the model they prefer. Now let's discuss bugs and what we're aware of and currently working on fixing soon. We are exploring issues with the asteroid logic where they are not displaying the correct asteroid number which is making players arrive at asteroids which are already occupied. We are working on fixing this issue currently. The damage percentages on the Hermes cargo and explorers are also not displaying properly which will be fixed very soon. For some players their percentage remains on zero, while with others they gain a very small percentage with an extended period of use. Another problem we are exploring is that while ships spawn around stars, asteroids spawn randomly and move throughout the galaxy. The issue here is that many players are reporting problems with locating asteroids and some players have been waiting days without finding any. We are now exploring changing how asteroids spawn so that they spawn around stars which will increase the number of asteroids per asteroid hunter which exist in the galaxy. We are also aware that the Asteroid Hunter radar map is also a little slow or laggy for some players and will be looking into this issue very soon. We are also aware that while using the Asteroid radar, some asteroids do overlap on the map, making it difficult for players to click through and select certain asteroids. 
Although we have been capturing feedback concerning bugs from the community actively throughout the Discord bugs channel and throughout the Telegram group, the team have decided to start work on a bug capture form on the website which will help players submit bug reports much more easily and will also help organise this information for the dev team. This concludes our weekly development update for Black Eye Galaxy. We hope to have another update video available for you on the 27th of November, and we hope to see you then. Please let us know what you thought about this video, and if you have any questions, please use the comments section below. All links referred to in this video, including our social media platforms, are provided in the description below as well. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.